Hello, welcome to the Curiosity Club. Today, let's continue our discussion on the topic from the previous episode. Let's talk about Xiaomi's foray into the automotive industry. Since Xiaomi CEO Lei Jun announced the venture into the car manufacturing industry on March 30, 2021, it has been more than 1,000 days of Xiaomi's journey into car manufacturing. With constant news about Xiaomi's car circulating, it indicates that the first Xiaomi car, the SU7, is getting closer to us. On December 28, 2023, the Xiaomi Car Technology Conference was held as scheduled, where Lei Jun interpreted the technical details of SU7 in a three-hour-long event. However, the overall appearance and pricing details remain mysterious. Although Xiaomi recognizes that new energy vehicles are the next growth point in the industry and must ride the wave of new energy vehicle development, it must be said that Xiaomi's entry timing seems a bit late. With various brands already staking their claims, Xiaomi has adopted a strategy of tenfold investment to stand out. Typically, a traditional car manufacturer invests 300 to 400 people and 100 million to 3 million US dollars in funds to produce a car. However, Xiaomi's first car involved a total investment of 3,400 engineers and R&D costs exceeding 1 billion US dollars, which is more than 10 times the usual investment. In the face of the overall economic pressure at home and abroad, is Xiaomi taking too much risk by investing such a high amount in R&D? Lei Jun's perspective is that making high investments in difficult situations makes it easier to achieve results and prepares for the overall market recovery. It is evident that Lei Jun is full of confidence and determination in Xiaomi's venture into the electric vehicle market. Let's take a look at what Lei Jun said about the technical details that determine the product quality at this technology conference. For new energy vehicles, the most basic is the three electric technology, including electric drive, battery, and electric control system. If we add on top of this the autonomous driving and intelligent interaction systems, we have the core technology of a new energy vehicle. The Xiaomi Car Technology Conference selected five core areas for detailed introduction, electric drive, battery, large diecasting, intelligent driving, and intelligent cabin. The first is Xiaomi Hyper Engine, key features, 27,200 RPM, the world's highest speed motor. The motor is the soul of an electric vehicle, not just about power and torque but also about speed. Xiaomi's Super Motor V6 and V6S, showcased at the conference, demonstrated exceptional performance. The V6 version reaches a speed of 21,000 RPM, with 299 PS horsepower and 400 Nm torque, using a 400 V high voltage electric drive. The V6S version has a speed of 21,000 RPM, 374 PS horsepower, and 500 Nm torque, with an 800 V electric drive. These motors set a new standard in the industry. Xiaomi also introduced the V8 version, with a speed of 27,200 RPM, making it the world's highest speed motor. The motor's power density is an industry-leading 10.14 kilowatts per kilogram. The second is Xiaomi self-developed CTB integrated battery, key features, industry-first inverted cell technology, 871V high-voltage platform. Xiaomi developed a new Super 800V silicon carbide high-voltage platform with a maximum voltage of 871V. Xiaomi also collaborated with CATL, contemporary Amperex technology company, to jointly develop the Xiaomi 800V high-voltage battery pack. The Xiaomi 800V High Voltage Battery Pack adopts self-developed CTB integrated battery technology, making the battery pack an integral part of the vehicle body, effectively reducing the vertical height of the car and creating more space for the cabin. The battery can support a maximum capacity of 132 kilowatt hours, providing a range of over 1000 kilometers under CLTC conditions. The platform's upper limit can support a maximum capacity of 150 kilowatt hours, offering a range of over 1,200 kilometers under CLTC conditions. In addition, Xiaomi pioneered the inverted cell technology, placing the cells upside down and inverting the pressure relief valve. This not only provides greater protection for users in the car but also frees up more space in the cabin. 
The battery pack features 14 layers of protection and 17 layers of high voltage insulation. For battery cooling, Xiaomi adopts a dual large surface strong cooling solution. Each cell has cooling plates on both sides, with a cooling area of 7.8 square meters, the largest in its class. Additionally, each cell's sides use a total of 0.6 square meters of aerogel insulation material. One of the most challenging aspects of electric vehicle technology is battery performance in low temperatures. Xiaomi has developed two heat management technologies specifically for low temperature environments. One is high efficiency dual mode heat pump. This heat pump has two modes. Mode 1, direct mode for supplying heat directly to the cabin, and mode 2, indirect mode connecting multiple heat paths to meet various scenarios. Even in an environment with temperatures as low as minus 15 degrees Celsius, there is no need for additional heaters to maintain a comfortable temperature in the cabin. It can still absorb heat in cold air at minus 20 degrees Celsius to supplement heat for the cabin. The other heat management is 3 heat source progressive aggregation. This technology aggregates the surplus heat produced by the electric drive, the compressor, and the heater progressively, transferring it to the cabin. The maximum heating power of the battery is up to 18 kilowatts, ensuring range, air conditioning temperature, and charging speed in low temperature environments. With these technologies as a foundation, Lei Jun boldly proclaimed at the conference, Xiaomi aims to be the winter range king of electric vehicles. The third is Xiaomi Hypercasting, key features, the only company simultaneously self-developing large casting equipment cluster and casting materials. Large casting is a high-pressure casting process that manufactures parts of car by injecting molten metal into a mold under high pressure. Tesla's Shanghai factory was the first to achieve mass production of 6,000 tons of large casting, integrating 70 components into one. The advantage of large casting is the improvement of production efficiency, but it comes with higher difficulty and cost. Xiaomi chose to build its own factory and conduct independent research and development. It custom-made three sets of large casting machines. Each of Xiaomi's large casting machines has a capacity of 718 tons, and the entire casting equipment covers an area of 840 square meters, equivalent to two basketball courts, with a total weight of 1,050 tons. In addition to having large casting equipment, Xiaomi also developed the entire process and standard of large casting independently. The equipment is in place, the production process is established, and the key to ensuring the success of large die casting lies in the alloy material. In the end, Xiaomi has chosen the Titan alloy, balancing strength, toughness, and stability. The fourth is Xiaomi Pilot, key features, BEV Zoom, for more precise viewing. Xiaomi's goal is to enter the first tier of intelligent driving by 2024. The key to achieving this goal is the use of the latest generation of underlying algorithms. BEV Plus Transformer Plus Occupancy Network, fully integrating large model technology. The first technology is the zooming BEV technology, similar to an aerial view, capable of dynamically adjusting the perception range, zooming in like the human eye. Specifically applied to a parking lot environment, the algorithm can divide the entire parking lot into millions of grids, each grid being 5 cm in size. With this precision, even the opening and closing status of parking lot locks can be accurately identified. Traditional autonomous driving algorithms rely on occupancy grid models, describing obstacles as blocks, which are not precise enough. Xiaomi employs super-resolution occupancy network technology. This directly simulates all visible objects on the road as continuous curved surfaces, improving recognition accuracy to less than 0.1 meters. Traditional intelligent driving heavily relies on high-definition maps, but the issue is that most manufacturers have not achieved nationwide coverage. Once you drive to an area without support for high-definition maps, the city navigation function becomes almost completely unusable. Through road large model technology, Xiaomi can generate real-time road topological maps, achieving effects comparable to high-definition maps and making real-time judgments about road conditions like a human. For instance, if the road ahead is under construction, it can accurately generate guidelines for smooth navigation. 
In addition to the three perception capabilities mentioned above, Xiaomi also has the world's first end-to-end -end perception decision-making large model applied to production cars. Combining these capabilities enables precise parking in mechanical parking spaces with an accuracy of 0.05 meters. After discussing the software system, let's move on to the hardware part. Xiaomi SU7 is equipped with two NVIDIA Drive Orin high performance chips, achieving a comprehensive computing power of 508 tops. It also includes one LiDAR, 11 high definition cameras, 3mm wave radars, and 12 ultrasonic radars as perception hardware. The integrated LiDAR on the roof can detect distances up to 200 meters. The fifth is Xiaomi Smart Cabin, key features, People Car Home, full ecosystem, even supported by Apple. What does People Car Home full ecosystem mean? Lei Jun explained, comprehensively connecting scenarios of people, car, and home, seamlessly connecting hardware devices, driving collaboration with industry partners, and creating a super intelligent ecosystem that actively serves people. SU7's interior features five interconnected screens, including a 16.1-inch 3K ultra-clear central control screen, an extra-large 56-inch HUD, a flippable full LCD dashboard, and a MePad ecological expansion screen, all powered by the advanced 8295 chip. The highlight of the in-car system is its consistent interactive experience with smartphones and pads. Xiaomi has a multitasking flexible framework, supporting window size adjustments, which is very convenient. The front passenger can also control the control center by swiping down from the right side, directly adjusting the front passenger seat and air conditioning, making it very user-friendly. Suppose you want to play your phone on the car screen or use your preferred phone navigation on the central control screen. These two operations can be dragged to the central control screen for full screen display. Even if you are an Apple user, the in-car system fully supports wireless CarPlay, and you can also achieve audio and video streaming based on AirPlay. It even supports iPad rear seat expansion, controlling air conditioning, music, and seats. At the launch event, Lei Jun mentioned that they have created an exclusive CarLot ecosystem for Xiaomi cars. Positions such as the central control screen, storage platform, and the back of the front seats all support hardware expansion, plug and play. In simpler terms, a screen can be added below the central control screen, and an iPad can be added behind the front seats. As for the most concerned price issue, many fans are looking forward to it, hoping that the Xiaomi car can become the first car for young people. However, to become the first car for young people, it ultimately depends on the price. Based on the prices of Xiaomi's previous products, many users hope that the Xiaomi car's price can be friendlier. In response to this, Lei Jun responded at the launch event, the price will indeed be a bit high, but it will be expensive for a reason. Lei Jun further revealed that the final pricing will be announced at the official launch of Xiaomi SU7. From this information, it seems that the pricing of the first Xiaomi car will not be too cheap. In conclusion, it seems unlikely to be the first car for young people. Of course, it does not rule out the possibility that after establishing itself with the SU7, Mi could release more affordable models in the future. After all, anything is possible.